Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In today's video, I'll show how to use Autoloader to load data into Autodesk Vault. First, let's take a look at Vault Explorer and see the setup that we have before I get started. If I look at Vault Explorer, I have my folder structure set up already, although all the folders are empty. This is an empty vault. The other setting I want to make sure to have is in Tools, Administration, Vault Settings, and make sure Enforce Unique File Names is unchecked. This has to be unchecked for Autoloader to work, although you can turn it on once autoloading is completed. Now, let's start up Autoloader. I'll go to Windows Start. All Programs, Autodesk, select Autodesk Data Management, then Tools, and finally, the Autoloader for the version of Vault you're going to be using. This is just 2012 Autodesk Vault. Now, I'll go ahead and click through the wizard, and the first thing I'm going to do is select the folder that I want to load, and I've got one chosen already. And it's going to be this tables folder right here, which has a decent selection of folders that I'm going to use. We'll go ahead and choose that tables folder, and I'll hit OK. And now, since there are inventor files in here, Autoloader is going to ask me what project I'm going to use. I'm going to go with the one that I have selected here. Hit OK. And now I can go to the next step. This is going to scan the data, which I'm going to go ahead and scan, and it's going to look for things like broken links and duplicate files. The duplicate files don't have to be fixed. You probably should. The broken links will definitely have to be fixed. That's something you want to resolve before you proceed. You can also go ahead and do all the data at once, although that does take a long time, or you could go ahead and do it in stages, which is kind of what I'm doing right here with kind of a small sample. Once everything has gone ahead and gone and scanned, I can proceed to my next step. Now, Autoloader is going to ask me where I want to put these files. So I can choose a folder, and I'm going to go ahead and map those in. And I can see the mapping right here. Hit Next one more time. And here is where Autoloader gets the files ready to go. This will take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up with a little bit of video editing magic, and we'll go ahead and move to the next step. Now that that's completed, I'll go ahead and hit Next, and now we're ready to auto-load. You'll also notice that I have the option to create the visualization attachment, the preview that will show up in the preview pane inside a vault. I'm going to leave this unchecked because if you check it, it will take longer to create. You can always create these afterwards as well. But I'll go ahead and hit Upload, and now the files go ahead, and they begin loading into Vault. And you can see how the screen progresses. I see check marks for successful uploads, and you'll also show you if you get any errors possibly that might come up. It'll go ahead and finish the upload. And once that upload is done, we can go ahead and go into Vault Explorer, and that's where we can see that our files are indeed loaded into Vault. There you go, a quick sample of how to use the autoloader in Autodesk Vault. I hope everybody found this helpful. We'll see you in the next video.